also many failures. A year of great blessing, but also many trials. A year of supernatural overflow, but many disappointments. A year of exceeding spiritual growth, but confusion in personal relationships. A year with many triumphs, but also many defeats. For some of you, you grew closer to God, yes. but further from everyday people. Christ became a closer friend, but you lost those who were walking beside you for a long time. Can I preach here? And if I didn't or you didn't know any better, you would have thought are on a roller coaster at times. Am I preaching to anybody? <laughs> this is the kind of year we've had in 2019. Well, well. This has been a year to remember. For many of you have traveled up the rough side of the mountain. You face sickness, death, and disease. You've encountered losses and been stripped of dignity, respect, morals, and so much more. You've lost loved ones, yes. departed jobs, and changed careers. Yes. you transitioned from one place into another. Yes. You've gone from one extreme to the next. Yes. Some homelessness yes. and sleepless nights. Yes. And if we all be honest with ourselves, many days we felt all alone. Am I preaching to anybody? During our transitions, we felt all alone. Felt that like we stood in a place absence of everybody else and even God. Felt like no one was present in the battle with us. Felt like we were on our own with no help, no reassurance, or no participation from anybody else. Understood, and we were walking in a war where the shooting target was on our back. Amen. And I preach in the house of yeah. God. Yeah. Felt like life was too much, yeah. and that it was only getting worse. Yeah. Felt all alone. Yeah. Family couldn't ease the pain. Yeah. Friendships couldn't fix the pain. Yeah. Relationships confused the pain. Yeah. Church it deepened the pain. Yeah. Work, it worsened the pain. Family pacified the pain. And most of all, God didn't lift the pain. And these, with these feelings on our shoulders most days, it was easy for us to feel all alone. But I wish you tell somebody, God said he will be with you. You are not alone, you are not abandoned, and you are not deserted. God said, I will be with you. You're not solo, companionless, or desolate. God said, I will be with you. You're not friendless, forsaken, or isolated. For God says, I will. You're not lonesome, single, or in solitary confinement. Because God says, I will be with you. The good news, the good news that I wish to bring you on this last Sunday of the year is that God says, I will be with you. You're not in this thing by yourself. You will not walk this walk alone. You will not face trial and tribulation by yourself. You will not endure pain alone by I hear God clearly. I will. Tell your neighbor, God will be with you. God said, He will be with you. Even if the lightning flashes and the thunder rolls. God 
said, I will, I will be with you. Yes. He said, even if you feel sin, breakers dashing, trying to conquer your soul, I will be with you. Because yes. early this morning when I was preparing this message, I heard the voice of Jesus oh, bidding me still to fight on. Because he promised never to leave me alone. No, never. Today I can hear the voice of John. I can hear the voice of God telling Joshua, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. As I was with your grandmother. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me in here. God said, I will. And I was with your former leader. I will be with you. As I was with you on yesterday. God said, I will be with you. He said, I was with your father who had kidney failure. I was with your sister who had cancer. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I was with your brother who had a drug addiction. Y'all ain't talking to me. He said, I was with your sister that was at the bottom of the barrel. He said, and I'm not a respectable person. If I walk them through the trial, if I walk them through the tribulation, God said, I will. I can hear God telling Isaiah this afternoon. And I'm going to try to hurry so I don't hold it too long. But I can hear God telling Isaiah this afternoon, when you walk through the wall, I will, I will be with you. In other words, he said, when you walk through the thing that you're supposed to drown in, God said, I will be with you. There are some people in this house this afternoon that doesn't understand how you are able to walk through water when it looked like you were going under, looked like you were going to drown, looked like it was going to be over, looked like it was for Nino and finished. You tried to wonder how you stayed afloat. That's because God said, I was your preservation. Yes, I was the one throwing you on the water. I will. God says, God says, <laughs> I will be with you. Amen. Amen. I hear David, Mother Todd. When David said, Whither shall I go? If I go up into the heavens, thou art there. He said, But even if I make my bed in hell, you're still there. I wish you just look at somebody and say, I can't get away from it. Even when I went out in the world, was trying to do my own thing. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. God reminded me that I'm still here. Is this the truth that God gave us through the name of Jesus Christ? For the Bible says to us, Amen. A behold, a virgin shall give birth to a child, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which is when it is interpreted, it means God is with. God says, when you call my name, can I preach it? He says, when you call my name, you bring my presence where you are. Somebody missed everything I just dropped. I said, when you call the name of God, you bring his presence to where you are. You want to know why you didn't lose your mind on your job? After folk were acting crazy, calling all kind of stuff. It's because you learned how to close yourself and call on the name of the Lord. And when you call on him, his presence shall your right mind, you're still healed and delivered, it's because God said when you called me my presence, hallelujah it came into the world it came where you are Emmanuel God is finally Jesus says go into all the world teaching all nations Oh. Teaching them to observe yes. whatsoever yes. 
that's what I want you to do. He said, but don't get distracted and low. I am with you. Always. Even until the end. He said, family might leave. But I will be with you. Friends may forsake you.
got to go, but I won't leave you by yourself. I won't leave you comfortless. I'm going to send the promise of my Father. What is the promise? It is the Holy Ghost. And I'm so glad I got the Holy Ghost. I'm so glad He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me I am His own. And I'm not by myself. I'm not walking alone. I'm not running this race by myself. God said I will. I will.
season. I said, tell somebody, it's my season. Tell somebody else, it's my season. It's my season to be blessed. It's my season to be turned around. It's my season to reap a harvest. Y'all want to know what's the problem with the church? It's the problem with the church is we're after church people. But that's not what Jesus said. He said, go into all the world and compel me and women to come to the Lord. Jesus Christ. Say I'll 
be with you in the darkest nights. God said, I'll send you a God said, I'll be with you. I'll be by your side. I'll support your journey. I'll give you the I am a man. I'll give you this. God said, I will. Right now, I pray that I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus says, come. He says, come. I'll be with you. Come. He says, come. I'll be with you. He said, maybe you already know Jesus, but you fell short. You want to rededicate your life. God said, come. He'll be with you. Sticks together. 
And my answer will be All right. I said family sticks together. Yeah. 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 And my Church, I said, is that what we believe, church? We we necessarily 
don't really believe, amen, about the person, we believe that the power is in the name. Because the Bible says the day is going to come where every knee is going to bow at the name of Jesus. And every tongue will confess that Jesus, come on, somebody talk to me up in here, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Rivers of life, I want to let you know that God confirmed to us that everything we learned over on Ferguson Road and over here, it was for a purpose. Can I get a witness in the house? I said, can I get a witness in the house? Amen. If you commit, amen. The Bible says he'll keep that. Would you commit to him? Amen. Before we, amen, dismiss, amen, the stewards are coming, but we might take up an offering today. Amen. Whatever you have to give, I want you to give it in Jesus' name. Maybe the Lord is impressed upon you to give a little extra after hearing a good word like that. Amen. I think, amen. Being in the presence of God, maybe God has blessed you once more and again. You say, I got to give him a little bit of something. Because he did that good. Amen. Once you have your offering in your hand, would you stand with us? Put a smile on your face. You